Hi, it's Melissa Maker here and clearly my cooking show is not going anywhere. But conveniently, I have a very messy glass cooktop and surprisingly, a lot of you wanna know how to clean it quickly and easily. I'm gonna give you some facts, some tips, and then we're gonna clean this up. Not only does a dirty stove look bad, but it also reduces the functionality of a cooktop. Secondly, if you have anything on the cooktop, it can promote scratching. Scratching leads to pitting, pitting leads to cracking, cracking leads to expensive stovetop replacements. A glass cooktop, like any glass surface, is designed to look glassy, glossy, and shiny. You should be able to see a reflection in it. Anything like this just looks awful. And if someone comes into your kitchen, doesn't matter how clean it is, this will make it look filthy. The first thing we'll do is remove all of this debris from the cooktop. Now I'm waiting until it's cool because obviously I don't want to burn myself. I'll get as much off as I possibly can just by hand with a paper towel and then we're going to actually treat it. Check it out. I've removed as much debris as I could from the stovetop with a paper towel before I attempt cleaning it with this trick. So here's what we'll need. A microfiber cloth, which we'll use at the end. A sponge, I'm only going to be using the soft side. Some rubber gloves, because we're dealing with hot water. A couple of rags. A bowl for the hot water. Some dishwashing liquid. And some baking soda. Well, let's get started. Got my gloves on. Then I'm gonna take my dish rags, put them into the bowl of hot water and soap, and let them soak. I'll take my baking soda and I'm going to sprinkle it onto the stove top quite liberally. Now that we have our baking soda all over the stove top, I'm going to take my rags, wring them out about halfway, and layer them right on top of the stove top. And now we let the cloth, the water, the dish soap, and the baking soda do all the work for us. So 15 minutes is up. Now if your cooktop is really bad, consider leaving it for 20, 30 minutes, as long as you can. What I'm gonna do is just remove these two just to show you what it looks like. And then I'm actually gonna use the cloths to remove any of the remaining residue. But you'll see, it's all been loosened up. Starting at the top and working my way to the bottom, I'm gonna start wiping in an S pattern. Now we're going to use the soft side of the sponge to wipe up the stove top and get rid of any of that excess moisture and debris. I'll just take a buffing cloth, microfiber, whatever you have, and just shine up the stove top. A really great way to maintain your cooktop is to clean it after each use. That means as soon as you finish cooking, let the cooktop cool down and then get out a cloth or a soft sponge, a little bit of soapy water and wipe it down. And if you encounter something that's really nasty or grimy, you can pick up a tool like this. It's called the scraper. It's way better than using a razor blade because it actually won't scratch your cooktop. And all you need to do, use it on a 45 degree angle, put some water on your cooktop, gently scrape off whatever you see and you're good to go. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any cleaning questions or comments about what you saw, drop it in the box below. You can also find us on Twitter at twitter.com slash cleanmyspace. And for more cleaning videos, hit the button above to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.